Hi, it's Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell International. Today's topic is stem cell therapy for liver failure. So what does the liver actually do? Well, there's a lot. It's involved in bioproduction, excretion, excretes bilirubin, cholesterol, hormones, drugs. It does metabolize a lot of things. It activates enzymes. It stores glycogen, vitamins, and minerals. Uh, very importantly, it synthesizes plasma proteins, such as clotting factors, and it's involved in blood detox and purification. So what are the reasons for a liver to fail over time? Well, I've broken these down into sections. Infections um, involve hepatitis, either A, B, or C. Immune system issues, which could be autoimmune hepatitis, primary biliary, biliary cholangitis, or primary sclerosing cholangitis. And then there's genetic issues. Cancer can lead to liver failure. And then others, uh, probably number one on the list, is chronic alcohol abuse or non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and then overdosing of certain prescription medications or herbal compounds. So the typical steps involved with liver failure starts with chronic inflammation, leads to some fibrosis of the liver, which then can lead to cirrhosis and eventually end-stage liver failure. So here's just some risk factors, uh, heavy alcohol use, which I just mentioned, uh, obesity is a risk factor, type 2 diabetes, various tattoos or body piercings. Um, for instance, hepatitis can be transmitted through the needles that are used uh, for those. Injecting drugs using shared needles, blood transfusion before 1992. Exposure to other people's blood and body fluids, unprotected sex, exposure to certain chemicals or toxins, and a family history of liver disease. So traditional treatments for liver failure are not fabulous. There are various medications, such as if there's an excess of fluid because of the liver failure, a diuretic can help to uh, get rid of some of that. Um, blood pressure may rise, so blood pressure medication may be helpful. Those don't, neither of those address the actual issue, right? They just help to uh, deal with some of the symptoms. Lifestyle changes can help dramatically, such as losing uh, weight or stopping alcohol, you know, whatever the um, concomitant issue is. Supportive care, and then a liver transplant. There are two types of liver transplants. One is um, a living liver transplant, um, and then the other one would be uh, from a uh, cadaver. So the, interestingly enough, the liver is the only organ that can regenerate. It's not only the heaviest organ in your body, but you can actually remove over 70% of a person's liver, liver, and the rest will regenerate the organ. So that's unbelievable that it does that because, you know, none of our other organ systems do. So a liver transplant, before a transplant, patients get on a waiting list. They must show proof of funding for 20%. Considering that uh, cost of a liver transplant is over 800,000 U.S. dollars now, that's a lot that a person has to show available. There are currently 14,000 people in the U.S. on the waiting list. The average wait time is uh, two-thirds of a year. There are significant exclusions, such as it's very rare for someone over the, over the age of 70 to be offered a transplant. So let's talk about stem cell therapy for liver failure and what some of the research shows. So here's a study out of 2012, Beijing. Human mesenchymal stem cell transfusion is safe and improves liver function in acute on chronic liver failure patients. So this was 43 patients, uh, about a little over half received umbilical cord mesenchymal stem cells, 500,000 stem cells per kilogram, three times a month apart. So if you think about it, you know, the average individual in the U.S. weighs about, let's say, 80, let's say 80 kilograms, okay? So that means 80 times 500,000 is 40 million stem cells, once a month for three months, all right? So the transfusions with the umbilical cord stem cells significantly increase the survival rates in acute and chronic liver failure. Stem cell patients showed increased serum albumin, cholinesterase, and prothrombin activity, and increased platelet counts. Um, and then the ones that you want to be decreased were significantly decreased after the transfusions. So the end result conclusion is that the transfusions are safe and may serve as a novel therapeutic approach. 
So here's a study out of 2015, mesenchymal stem cell therapy for cirrhosis, present and future perspectives. So the conclusion here was that although cell therapy for cirrhosis has demonstrated that stem cells can improve liver function and deliver beneficial effects in terms of liver regeneration, the therapeutic mechanisms responsible for, the for these effects are still far from being fully characterized. What does that mean? Well, that means that this study, this study actually looked at other studies and deemed them to be very effective, but we don't know exactly what they do to work. Okay, so there is a lot that we don't know, but what we've seen is that they work really, really well for liver failure. So here's a lot of the studies that they looked at in that paper, and I'm not going to go through each one. I just wanted to show you that there are quite a few, and look at these countries all over, Egypt, China, Iran, Egypt. So it goes on and on. There were quite a few here from bone marrow and a few from umbilical cord tissue. Most were done IV, okay? And the dosing was very high, which is one of the great things about R3 International. Um, and the main outcome is basically I, I, I. They all did really well. Okay. So here's a study out of Korea, mesenchymal stem cell therapy for liver fibrosis. What they saw in this study was hepatocyte-like cell differentiation. So when someone's administered these stem cells, they a lot of them go down the liver cell uh, lineage. Uh, there's immune modulatory potential, uh, secretion of trophic factors, antifibrotic activities, antioxidant activities as well. So remember that four stages of liver progression. One of those was fibrosis. Another one was chronic inflammation. So you can see that you know these work directly on those areas uh, and can help prevent progression. So here's the studies that they looked at in that um, paper, and once again, they're from all over the place, Iran, Sweden, Egypt, China, um, and you can see improvement, 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 all the way down, okay, whether it was umbilical cord or from the patient, him or herself. So here's another paper from 2019, stem cell transplant for advanced stage liver disorders, uh, and they, they looked at hundreds of studies, it's called the meta-analysis. And the stem cell-based interventions provided significant improvement in patients with chronic liver disease. The studies clearly indicated that stem cells played a key role in liver protection process by some mechanisms, such as what you just saw in the previous slide, anti-inflammatory, autoimmune suppression, new blood flow, preventing cell death. And the studies indicated that stem cells derive paracrine factors promoting new blood flow, reducing inflammation, and inhibiting liver cell death. So in conclusion, there's a lot of small studies, early clinical trials, and our own experience at R3 International that show that not only is stem cell therapy for liver failure safe, but it's typically very effective. Key points, what we saw in these studies is that it appears that high stem cell numbers are absolutely necessary. It's not necessary to inject right into the liver or the hepatic vein. A peripheral vein is absolutely fine. And umbilical cord mesenchymal stem cells give fantastic results. That's what we use at R3 International, just like Autolytus. So I do want to point out that if somebody recommends to you to get an embryonic stem cell therapy or an induced pluripotent stem cell therapy, run away because those are not ready for prime time at all. What we use is stem cell therapy with mesenchymal stem cells and hematopoietic stem cells because those have a great track record for safety and effectiveness. That is what we use. Um, there's no harm to any baby or mother in those processes at all. So I'll tell you a little bit about our program. Uh, we have two locations in Mexico right now, Tijuana or Mexicali. Uh, the one in Tijuana is only 20 minutes from the San Diego airport. The process starts with a free phone consultation with one of our licensed, experienced stem cell doctors. You'll have a dedicated patient concierge rep who will assist with all of your travel logistics, and you'll also be picked up from the airport and taken to the clinic and back, and, and uh, also escorted to the visit and the treatment. So I do want to mention the cells because a lot of the magic happens at the lab. We searched long and hard to find the best lab in the whole country, and that's GenCell. 
They have a pristine safety record over six, seven years now. Their quality assurance standards are actually more stringent than what you see with the FDA. In Mexico, umbilical cord stem cells are allowed to be cultured, and you don't need any preservative, which is fantastic because we need very large numbers of cells. We have a 95% viability with those cells, and they're very pure and potent. They don't culture past the fifth generation. I'm not going to explain all that right now, but that most international clinics use cells that have been cultured and cultured and cultured and cultured, and they're no longer functional. So we know that based on those studies, patients either need around 500,000 cells per kilogram, maybe a million cells per kilogram. So and it's not going to be a one and done kind of a treatment because the liver failure is a very metabolically active situation, requires a lot of the regenerative biologic. So when patients come to Mexico for their treatment, uh, it starts at only $2,975, and that's for 30 million live stem cells. For only an extra $1,000, you can get another 20 million stem cells to make it 50 million. All right, so under $4,000 for 50 million stem cells. And if you want it to come multiple times per year and be on a payment program, um, we have really good deals uh, for that, which we'll talk to you about on the phone consultation and afterwards. So R3 has been around for a long time in the U.S. We've been featured on ABC, Fox, CBS, you can see. So to start the process, simply call us at 888-988-0515 and visit us online at stemcelltreatmentclinic.com. Thank you for watching.